welcome to my tutorial my name is Muhammad Amir Fidaos ok today I will show to you guys how to installing C or C++ compiler and open MPI library in a Linux machine and I also will show to how to ex uh, execute the file and, and run the file in this C++, C++, C++ and open MPI first you need to install the toolbox and then create the virtual machine and install Ubuntu in the virtual machine to, to do this first you must to install virtualbox or download virtualbox from the website this website virtualbox.org you must download the latest version and then you must download the Ubuntu operating system I just download the uh, Ubuntu 10.04 as you can see uh, I installed the Ubuntu 20.10 desktop oh, for my tool machine and then for this after you install the virtual machine you must create new virtual machine and you just name it as any name for me I start as Ubuntu OS yeah. uh, create the virtual machine then after you have the finish create the virtual machine go to the setting go to the storage you must click this and this uh, this selector uh, from this and add uh, where you save uh, or save your download the Ubuntu from this and eh? you click this and done you can run and install the Ubuntu operating system ok I will start this first okay, and run you can see this I have already installed the Ubuntu for my for my turn sheet wait for loading ok take uh, time a while okay. this is my profile Uh, for the new newcomer you must uh, follow the instruction that I have provided and you must provide the password the username for to create the account for this uh, uh, link Ubuntu operating system or Linux operating system so you can see this is my desktop uh, in Ubuntu then we follow the instruction first we install the GNU C and C++ compiler in the Ubuntu first you must verify the system compiler version if any as me I have already installed it so we follow this link ok for installing this GNU C compiler and GNU C++ you just type this code or a common list in the terminal ok open the terminal sure so we just uh, sudo slash get update we must uh, see uh, the latest version uh, any if either uh, uh, we have installed or not the GNU C or C++ in the Linux OS okay so do ft slash get d ok that's good for the installation uh, you just need the internet for, for the system to download 
as you can see I have already downloaded it and the package that I have installed have already updated okay if you uh, if you newcomer you must follow another instruction as I have provided because uh, because uh, the library must be uh, installed in this go to operating system okay then we follow the instruction first we must we must test the C or C++ compiler by building and executing the hello world in C++ ok, this is the code okay. uh, uh, the code I have installed in folder code in the desktop I have already saved in the file copy and paste in this file hello world.c ok this is my code same as the instruction ok so first we must to compile and build the codes that's then we that we can run this code in the terminal ok Okay, before that, I want to show the command list, the basic the command list for the terminal, in this terminal, the pwd command to show directory, ls the list file in the directory, cd to change the directory, cd uh, dot dot to go back from the directory, sudo nano file, uh, we can see the our code in the terminal editor. The, the so also pwd so kita, uh, we, we can see our directory home slash amirul for my folder codes i have saved in the desktop so we must type it one by one to go to my uh, code directory okay, first type cd desktop slash ok, we just go to the desktop directory and what file in the desktop library just type ls to show what file in the desktop directory ok so go cd again to type to go to the codes directory so you see in the code uh, we have to go we have to go to the code uh, folder uh, release uh, this is the my file in directory so we, as you can see this is my text file text file this white color is my text file this is for text file the green one for the exe file the executable file ok to compile we just type the uh, i have saved the hello world cc so we compile cc slash c hello world dot c Oh, hey. This is C. Let's see. Uh, oh, I just. We must have the, the. We must have a space from this. I have no space. Okay. It's my mistake. Okay. From this, if I am. Uh, if it doesn't have any prompt, error prompt, you know, yeah, my code is safe to build. Okay, to build, you must type DCC, slash O, the file, the any type of name, and the file. 
we want to add to the cube Yes, go for the output. Hello world. Hello world. Let's see. Okay. To run the file, we just type that slash. What file name have we saved? No, no. Hello world. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay, this is my output from the codes, and it's done for this code to execute. So, we show the output of hello. Okay, set up for the test the C compiler. Then, we must install the OpenMPI library if you want to. Okay. Firstly, you must you must type this command to to, to install the open MPI in this uh, Ubuntu. Okay, I have already installed it, so I just show you the. Package. Okay, I have already taken and the package I have to upgrade. So I have. If you do doesn't have already installed, you just must install this. And you must type this code to install the open MPI. Okay. Then I will show the codes. Uh, okay, number seven. Test the open MPI installation by compiling and building a lower program with MPI function okay. type the source code hello world program as a slide okay. this is the codes we must find the error from this code we must find this error because this codes uh, uh, doesn't provide the, the what we call that uh, the exactly the uh, right codes we must uh, find the right codes okay I have already I have already saved it as text that's not seek this method this method uh, in this code that's in this code so you can view my codes and the uh, instruction code in this code what you can see the error from this code firstly the internet uh, this uh, provide code do have internet and uh, oh return zero return zero okay. and have, have return zero you might have probably zero to to execute this mm. then I will show you how we can run this open MPI file firstly okay before that you can view your code from this terminal just type in sudo no no as I save my .mpi file, type .c that's that's we can also view this from the terminal and we can see ok we okay. use it ok, we run this we execute with syntax mpi cc slash o to execute file and source code file this is the example. Okay, we follow that. This MPI CC slash O text any type any type of name in text dot C that I have to save this as text dot C. Okay, no problem. Like uh, the code the 
um, show any form of a report so we can run this one. that's hello okay. the code is uh, uh, show the output the hello world hello world this okay and the tutorial is and this option show that okay that's all for for me to, uh, by installing C or C++ compiler and find a library in a line virtual machine thank you for watching Thank you.